Well, here in the U.S., there are now nearly 5 million total coronavirus cases. A handful of states are still seeing spikes. Positive cases are still too high for 32 states and Puerto Rico to reopen fully for business. California still leads the nation in cases, but Los Angeles health officials are optimistic as hospitalizations decline. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., President Donald Trump claims the virus is under control, and he's defending his administration's response to the pandemic. Natalie Brand has the latest from the White House. President Trump is defending his administration's battle against the coronavirus in a new interview with Axios on HBO. Right now, I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. But that doesn't mean we aren't doing everything we can. It's under control as much as you can control it. The president also criticized Dr. Deborah Birx for the first time after she warned the public the virus is extraordinarily widespread. I told Dr. Birx I think we're doing very well. The president is stepping up encouragement for using face masks. In a new campaign email, he asked supporters to wear masks, saying, I think it's something we should all try to do when we are not able to be socially distanced from others. President Trump says he's also considering using executive action to suspend evictions and payroll taxes if he can't reach a deal with Congress on a new coronavirus relief package. We'll be talking about that, but we're having a very good discussion with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Democratic leaders agree that they're starting to make progress. We are really getting an understanding of each side's position, and we're making some progress on certain issues, moving closer together. There are a lot of issues that are still outstanding, but I think there is a desire to get something done as soon as we can. But one of the major sticking points remains how much to provide in additional unemployment benefits. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House.